Social Blade versus my actual earnings. In today's video, I'm going to compare the monetization and the revenue that is estimated on Social Blade versus my actual monetization, so my actual revenue on my YouTube channel. So you can see whether the stats on Social Blade are accurate and whether you can trust them or not. So if you're interested, keep watching and let's dive in. So first of all, what you should know about Social Blade is that this is a platform where you can find stats from any YouTube channel. I'm just taking a look at the Success Online channel, which I own, and on here you can now see the view count the subscriber account, you can see where the channel is located. So this is still in the UK, which is wrong actually. Um, when it's created, how many views they're getting per day, per month, and then also a estimated monthly earning count. Now that is mainly what you're here for. First of all, let me explain why, like where these numbers are coming from. So what Social Blade does is that they take the view count from your channel per month, per day, whatever, mainly per month, if you want to go ahead and check out these numbers, and they'll multiply that by a specific CPM or RPM. Basically, they only do CPM, um, but it's pretty much the same thing, right? RPM is the actual amount that you get to keep. CPM is the amount that the advertisers pay. However, they just predict the amount that you get to keep pretty much. So for example, 220K views, if we multiply that by um, dot 25 or a $4 CPM, you'll get these numbers. The issue with this is that there are also CPMs out there that are much higher than $4, meaning that this right away, like instantly, becomes irrelevant. So first of all, this is my channel, 220K, 800 euros per month. That is what they estimate. And per year, they estimate about 9K euros. Let's take a look at the actual numbers. And here we go. So this is the revenue in the last 28 days. You can see it's $2,532. So that's quite far off um, the 800 euros there. It's almost a free X. This is euros, this is dollars, but still it's almost a free X, right? So you can see that our CPM is 26 and our RPM is $11.80. So you can see that it's almost three times as high as their highest estimate on Social Blade. Now, once again, why is the like why is this stuff not accurate at all? Because they only work with a 25 cents CPM on the low end and a $4 CPM on the high end. They've now changed that actually. So the last time I checked this, this was only able to go up to like four, but you can see the accepted formula that Social Blade uses to calculate the CPM range is and then between 25 cents and $4. So if you then multiply that view count by those numbers, the highest amount you'll get to is 800 euros per month. Even though that is so far off because I'll, I'll make 800 euros every week roughly with this channel. So you can see and even if we go to per year, it's so far off like 22k last year and right now it says 9k. So it's so far off. The reason once again is because they only take these numbers right there. So if I'd get, let's say 82,000 views per day and I would have a $10 CPM, I would make $820 per day. But they take a roughly like at max a $4 USD RPM and then you'll end up with 128. So you can see how this is limiting all of these stats and like instantly making it inaccurate. So the reason I'm getting paid about $13 or what is it like $11, $12 per 1000 views is because of the niche I'm in. Now the estimate earnings are just random. Okay. I want you to know that social play does not take a look at the actual channel. They don't check all oh, it's in this niche. They're doing this and that none of it. These stats, like the estimated stats here are the same for every channel. It just depends on your view count. They'll just take the view count and then multiply it between like 0 0.25 plus um, 4 and then you'll get this stuff right there. So please, I want you to know none of this is accurate at all. Channels can have different CPMs, different RPMs. It depends on the niche you're in, the type of videos you make, which is the same the quarter, so maybe it's quarter one, quarter four, there will be a difference. So many different elements come into play. So none of this stuff here is accurate, okay? I want you to know that. Now the view count is indeed pretty accurate. You can see 220K in the last 30 days. Now if I go to overview, you'll see it says 220 and this right there is 220 as well. So that is actually pretty accurate, it's all right. However, the, like the revenue side, it's not accurate. 
So from now on, don't trust Social Blade with the earnings. What you can do though, what you can use Social Blade for is check out the view count because that is actually pretty accurate. So if you wanna see if a channel is performing, how it is performing, then you can use this. I use it all the time. My channel is at its peak right now, which is great. So that's good to see. But yeah, that's what you use Social Blade for. Don't trust the monetization, okay? They are just estimates and they're just using set amounts, which is not accurate. All right, so that's it. If you wanna leave a like on the video, I would appreciate that. Subscribe, check out all of my other channels in the description down below so you don't miss out on these videos.